Okay, friends, we're going to do 2.1. And this is inequalities. So there's quite a few concepts that we want to tackle in this. Okay, so inequalities, um, I guess at the top, let's, so these. So that means you're going to have a range of numbers that you're going to have. I'm going to actually draw eight boxes. Because there's really, there's really looking at four um, concepts in this, in this whole, okay, section. So the first one is writing. There we go. Okay, so writing inequality. So we're going to use, um, we want to think about our, our words, um, so, hmm, how do I want to do this? Um, things like you're going to hear is less than, okay? Is more than, um, or fewer than, or greater than. Um, the big ones that you really have to be careful of are the is at most is at least okay and the reason i'm not putting the sign here or how about this i'm not putting the sign without putting the variable because i don't want you to learn the way the sign is pointing so if i put an x here i can at least make it seem not so bad here, okay? Is less than, is more than, okay? So, because it really depends on the way that you read, and we always read from the variable. Or from, no matter if the variable's on the right or the left. All right, a number W minus 3.5 is less than or equal to negative two. A number W minus 3.5 is less than or equal to negative two. All right, so I'm gonna use my marker. A number W minus 3.5, well, what does minus mean? You're right, subtraction, okay? Is less than or equal to. That's telling you less than, so less than or equal to less, so the small n goes towards the w, and then you're left with the last piece, negative two. Now, we're not asking you to solve it today um, on this section, so just writing. Okay. Now you try. Three is at least nope, I'm gonna have to go back. Three is less than a number n plus a 
couldn't figure it out because I didn't say the, the variable first. So, sorry, friends, I'm there. Okay. Three. I can do that. All right, the next piece is less than. Okay, less is to the, okay. Now be careful. Three is less than a number n plus five. Okay, three is less than a number less. So it's whichever the small small end of your sign. Okay. Now what we're looking at is, can you tell um, whether these are a solution, um, whether a number is a solution of this inequality? So let's take this same Is this a solution? So I want you to test if W is a negative six, if I plug in a negative six in there, is that a solution? Well, all you do is plug and check. Negative six minus 3.5 is less than negative two. Well, let's see, what's negative six? So I'm gonna add the opposite. Oh, that's negative 9.5, isn't it? Is that less than negative two? Now on the number line, if you're thinking about the number line, okay? Negative 9.5 is down here and negative 2 here. This is farther down. So, yes. Absolutely, that makes it true. Yes, that is a solution. All right, well, let's try this over here. And I'm going to use negative 6 again. Is negative 6 a solution here? 3 is less than negative 6 plus 5. What's negative six plus five? Negative one. Ooh. Is three less than negative one? No, that is not a solution at all. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, so the next piece is let's work on graphing. Okay, so the next piece is graphing and then we're going to write a graph. Okay. So first of all, let's define if it's greater than or less than we use an open circle and then we use arrows. If it is less than or equal to greater than or equal to we use solid circles. So we need a number line. Now I kind of do a little bit crude um, number lines, I don't make them equal, and I don't necessarily take my time and write all the numbers down. But here's what we do. On negative 8, do I want an open circle or a closed circle? You're right, I want an open circle. Now, are you ready for this? Because I'm going to get kind of goofy. Let's read it from the variable. B is greater... Oh, excuse me, I got stuck on the R. You're right, it goes to the right. Please do not say, oh, the arrow points this way. Okay, don't do that. That does not work for everything, so be careful. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do R is, actually, let's do this. Just to show you how it doesn't work. So I'm gonna put the variable on this side. Okay, and I'm gonna put a half right here because I'm kind of being lazy. Let's do, um, let's actually do equal to, okay? So in this case, solid or open? Solid. Okay, read it from the variable. So I'm actually reading it like this way. R is less than or equal to. Less, less is to the left. 
Do you see how you don't want to follow the arrows? Okay, be careful. Read it from the variable. Okay, now it's your turn. Y is I'm not going to read that to you. And then I want you to do this one. Almost done, friends. All right, I'm going to put a negative three there. Open or closed? You're right, closed. All right, let's read it from the variable. Y is less than or equal to less, less is to the left. Done. So here's all the solutions that would make this true. Okay, it's really a solution set. All right, two, open or closed? You're right, open. Okay, read it from the variable. X, ooh, big mouth. X is greater. Oh, you're right, that goes to the right. So anything past here. Now, when we're looking at open or closed, we could include this, right? No, you can't include two. Two does not make this true, but you can include it on an equal to. Is negative three less than or equal to negative three? Absolutely. Okay, so the next piece is, can you go back and write the inequalities? Write from graphs. All right, just one of each. Here we go. Okay, now I don't care what variable you use, use X. And I don't really care which side you put it on, but I always start usually with my variable, okay? All right, so right away, I know that it's going to be an equal to, isn't it? Because it's solid. Okay, so is this going, and I know that my number is negative seven, right? Because that's where I'm starting. Okay, so is this going to the right or to the left? It's going to the right. And right is greater. So greater would be the big mouth open towards the X. Okay. And then how would you write that in words? X is greater than or equal to negative seven. All right, now you do. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm I'm going to start out with with x again. Okay, and I'm going to not put a line, but I am going to put a 52 in because that's my number. Okay, am I going to the right or the left? The left. Left is less. Left is less. So I want to put the small n towards the variable. Okay, it's towards the variable. So how do I want to say x is less than 52. All right, friends. And that's it for today. Thank you.